Happy birthday, my love. Thank you so much, my love. <laughs> it's his birthday today. It's my mum's birthday. How old are you? I'm 27. 27. <laughs> getting old um but i thought we'd do a little vlog today because it's melvin's birthday and we've got some fun things planned but we're gonna have a boodle fight later 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 um <laughs> later, later um and then karaoke what do you think we're gonna do today what do you want to do today actually it's your birthday and hmm? do whatever you want what do you want to do today you don't know what do you want to do surf i don't know you don't know <laughs> do you want to surf today or no you don't want to surf? Really? You don't want to surf on your birthday? I'm actually shocked by that. But anyway, I've just cleaned the house. We can clean My the house now. We, me, I cleaned the house for you, for your lovely, your lovely girlfriend cleaned it for your birthday. Well, I was going to do it last night, but I was too tired. But I thought we just haven't done a YouTube video well in absolute ages. Well, why do I look like that? It's, I'm literally wearing Melvin's vest and my hair is gross. I haven't got ready or shower joe if you can't tell i don't know what we're gonna get up to yet we've done absolutely nothing this morning and i've said to him oh what do you want for breakfast i'll make you a nice breakfast take you somewhere it goes i'm not hungry we need to go and get the fish later for the boodle fight grilled fish grilled fish and, then and maybe some squid, squid if they have yeah. do they have yeah but <laughs> it's all right it's your birthday um yeah uh, we'll go do that in a minute we need to finish cleaning the house because it was absolutely a state and I got up early to clean the house. We just need to clean the floor. And then shower, get ready, and then we can do something. Well, I don't know what we're going to do today. He's like, oh no, what do you want to do? You're like, I don't know. I don't know. It's fun. I can't just sit around and do nothing all day. But I need to shower and everything first. Because I look disgusting. But I've got a surprise for you first. You need to close your eyes. Keep them closed. Put your hands out. A birthday! It's alright. I put this top is really not. It's Melvin's best top. I feel like I should tie this at the back. Um, he, I mean, this isn't really a surprise. He did know he was getting these, but he didn't think they'd arrived because yeah. I said they hadn't. He was like, oh, it's a scam. <laughs> We've been scammed. <laughs> And I lied and said they hadn't arrived, but they had because I wanted it to be a surprise. But he did, it's not a massive surprise because you already know I was going to buy these because he asked for board shorts for his birthday. And I didn't know what design he liked, so in the end I just asked him. I showed him them and I was like, which ones do you want? Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to get ones he doesn't like. But they're size 28, which I'm a bit worried because his other shorts are size 26. I think he maybe don't just, they look a little bit big. Maybe don't whip them off, yeah, <laughs> right in front of the camera. He's going to do a try on haul, but they're from, what are they from? Are they Quicksilver ones? Yeah, they're Quicksilver or they're Billabong. What, what? Are they Quicksilver? Yeah. But yeah, maybe don't get your, <laughs> think it would get taken down off YouTube if we did that. Oh, they fit though, they fit. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice new board shorts. To be fair, you didn't need some. He doesn't have that many pairs of um, like nice board shorts. They're quite long, aren't they? It's a big, it's but he's so skinny. It's size 26 normally. But trying to get size 26 board shorts is absolutely impossible. They just don't sell sizes that small anywhere. Or they always have like such limited designs. <laughs> I'm going to show you them. Maybe come, wait, because you can't see. Come this way because of the light. Wow, nice board shorts. <laughs> Sexy mama, but they're Quicksilver ones. So they'll be good. And it come with, look, we've got a free keychain he said he put in for me. He was Oy, like, he was like yeah, he was like, put a free keychain in for you. I was like, ah, oh, mm. thanks. I don't know. Is it sticker? And sticker you can put on the bike. But yeah, we got these guys. Um, if you're in Chargal from Authentic, but it's spelt with an O. I'll put it on the screen. Board shorts. And he is like a board shorts reseller. Anyway, we're going to go get ready. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I feel gross. Got your new stickers. <coughs> and my phone keeps running out of storage. So I have to keep sticker, stopping. Let me have a look. Yeah, this is the brand. 
you I should. Um, this is you it's can that, look on Instagram and it sells loads of different brands like of board shorts. He does like drops every I don't know a few weeks of different sizes. He normally does them in sizes, but size twenty eight was rare and there wasn't many options and there was no size twenty six. So we just had to. But I thought I didn't come. Fit. Just have to eat lots of the noodle fry and then you'll fit into them. But anyway. We're gonna go clean the house and then maybe do something a bit more exciting later than cleaning the house. See you later. <laughs> See you later. Alligator. Alligator. <laughs> right guys, hello. It is several hours later since the last video we filmed. Alvin went out for like half an hour and I managed to fall asleep for three hours on his birthday. And I came back, I woke up to him just being like in bed, in bed next to me, like on his phone. And I looked at the time and it was like 1 p.m. And I was like, oh my goodness, how have I slept for this long? I don't even know, I slept well last night as well. I don't know what's going on. But since then, I did forget I was filming a video because I felt a bit rushed because we had so much to do that we went to the market to get fish, uh, squid and chicken for the boodle fry. And then we went... Well, we went to like the fish market to do that and then we went to the other market to just get the rest of the ingredients. Woo! We finished cleaning the house. I also washed milkshake because she was a little bit stinky, not gonna lie. And I'm gonna go wash the um, other puppies. I don't know if you guys... I feel like I need to sit down. It's very, very hot in here. And I feel like we need a little bit of a catch up. Ignore the mess on this table. I've just went out and bought um because i forgot to i was going to order on shopee but i completely forgot and then it was too late but i ordered um, i didn't order i was supposed to order but i just went to the market and i bought this blue happy birthday banner i just wanted something and then i bought some gold and silver balloons to kind of go with it i don't know i just wanted something to make it feel a bit more birthday but anyway um i feel like i haven't done an update on her in literally forever i haven't posted a youtube video in forever I filmed like two videos and then just never got around to editing them and then I don't know if you guys know if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram you'll already know this but if you don't um you've probably seen him in some of our other videos we had a puppy one of Milkshake's puppies which we decided to keep his name was Milk Tea and he was so cute he was like the little golden -y one and anyway it's a very long story basically I rescued a puppy a different puppy that I saw on the street in Burgos I tried to raise money to help him. We took him home. He was fine for like a week. He then gets sick again. And then I had to take him back. They were like, he's got parvo, parvo virus. And if you know, it's very, very hard to treat parvo virus. Um, and the fatality rate is like really high in puppies. Um, so yeah, so I already was like kind of, I kind of knew what was gonna happen with him because he already had like a weakened immune system from all the other things because he had so many other things wrong with him before. Um, so yeah, he passed away and died. I've been keeping him in a cage um, separate to my other dogs because he had mange. So he'd been in a cage separate to my other dogs, but I'd let him go out on our patio to go for a wee, go to the toilet on the same area. My dogs also went to the toilet on the patio because I didn't know he had parvo at the time. Obviously I wouldn't have done that if I knew he had parvo, but when he'd first stick into the vets, they didn't spot it, he had no symptoms. So unfortunately my other puppy, Milk Tea, then got tested for positive for parvo and he'd only had one of his jabs because he was only 10 weeks old. He'd only had one jab of his six and one vaccinations. So he wasn't fully uh, protected against parvo. And I thought he was gonna be strong enough to pull through, but after about six days, unfortunately he passed away as well. It was really, oh my goodness, you can hear milkshake. Um, she have had to tie her up outside because they've had to be isolated for two weeks since milk tea got ill because even though they're adults and they're not showing any symptoms, they could still have it and then go to the toilet outside and give it to other dogs. So I don't want that. So I'm keeping them inside. They've only got a few more days left until they can go out, but they're going crazy. And Milkshake's learned how to jump our fence, which is about a metre and a half high. About a metre and a half. And she's learned how to scale this fence to get out of the house. So I have to tie her up on the patio, which she hates. But anyway, so getting back to the original point. I feel like I cannot tell a story. I'm just trying to shorten this very long story down to something a little bit shorter. But yeah, so Milk Tea then passed away. It was really upsetting about maybe a week ago, a week and a half. 
Milkshake! <laughs> she's whining. I've just washed her as well, so she's not happy. I just gave her a bath. Um, but anyway, so that, that all happened. And then these two vlogs I'd done for YouTube, they were like an hour and a bit long, like whatever. I've ended up just deleting all the footage off my phone because I tried to edit them, but seeing milk tea and like literally milk tea was, cause he was like so small. He was with me all day, every day and literally in every video of the vlog that it just upset me too much to edit them. And to post after what happened, it just felt wrong, you know, that I never ended up Doing anything with those videos so i'm really sorry it hasn't been a video in ages i had filmed them but everything that happened with milk tea and after that i just couldn't bring myself to have to watch all these videos back with him in them and then yeah it was just too painful but anyway that's why i haven't done a video in ages and i wanted to film a good one today but i woke up from my nap and i forgot i forgot but i'm gonna try and film for the rest of the day because we still got a lot of other stuff to do um I'm gonna go wash the puppies now because Milkshake's other puppies have been rehomed, but they're all to like Melvin's friends and family. And there's three of them across the road, which I've put together this morning to play together. They've been having a little play day, um, but they've got themselves really dirty. So I've come with the dog shampoo to bring like over to their house and give them all a little wash. Cause it's really hot outside as well. I think they'll like having a little bath. Well, they won't like the bath, but they'll like the cool off, you know? Um, but yeah, and then later, Melvin's currently cooking with his family. But his mum's doing like half the cooking and then his like friends and cousins are doing the other half because we've got so much food, like ridiculous amounts, um, that they're already starting the cooking because it's about, I think it's like 2.30 and we're eating at five or 4.35. So they've started the cooking. I'm gonna go check up on them and see how they're doing and wash the puppies and then in a few hours, I need to go pick up Melvin's cake because basically we were a bit low, well, <laughs> low budget. We didn't have that much money. I ended up spending way, way more than I was supposed to do on this food fight because I just wanted to make him happy. I wanted Melvin to have whatever he wanted. Um, but we were like, we agreed, we agreed that we weren't going to do a cake because Melvin was like, oh, like, I don't really care like to have a cake, whatever. Like, he's not a massive sweet person, it's like sweet tooth anyway. He was like, I don't really... I don't really mind not having a cake like and it's expensive so i don't like i'd rather just spend the money on like um other food for the food fight and i was like okay yeah so he thinks i'm not getting him a cake but i couldn't have him have a birthday without getting him a cake like that's not okay so i contacted this woman that bakes cakes in the town near me because she baked my friend's birthday cake a few months ago and it was insane it was so good i think it's like mango float flavored or something mango float flavored cake it was so good but anyway she's making melvin's cake and i can't wait to show you guys i'm gonna get kong melvin's cousin to take me to go pick that cake up so it's a surprise and just bring it to the buddha fight right at the end so he doesn't see um but i hope you'll like it because i fingers crossed i'm not sure how it's a bit of a difficult design so i just yeah as long as she like the thought is there because i said to the woman that's making it, i was like i know this design is really difficult but this is what i think he'll want because I showed him designs before when we were talking about maybe having a cake and he liked this. It's like a, um, you'll see it later, but it's like a kind of you have like from the bottom of the cake round to the top, like a wave, like a barrel, and then a cut out of a surfer, like, like they're surfing in a barrel. I mean, I just thought it was very like on theme for Melvin, surfing and everything. And I hope he likes it. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna turn out because it was quite a difficult design. Fingers crossed, she's done the design justice. But either way, it's the thought that counts. And I will stop yapping because it's been eight minutes of me yapping and no one's gonna listen to all this. Honestly, the amount of comments I get, why do you talk so much? Why are you always, and I'm like, it's like I talk to the camera, I talk about whatever, about my life. Like I'm talking to a friend that I just yappy, 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 yappy. If you've ever met me in real life, you'll know I never stop talking. And all the comments I get on my videos, it's like, why do you talk so much? Melvin never talks, he does. One, he's really shy on the camera. He doesn't really like it. It gets awkward because also in the amount of comments, people are like, your English isn't right, you blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, he gets like, doesn't want to then talk on the camera because people just get so, I don't know, angry that his English isn't perfect. Whatever. We do talk to each other. I find it funny. But yeah, he's like really shy on the camera. And two, it's just always been my personality of all my friends, of literally everyone. I'm a yapper. I talk so much and I like to talk. So my video is always just like minutes and minutes of me talking and if you don't like that you can skip it it's fine i understand but and especially as i don't film these videos very often it's literally been like i don't know 
two months since my last one i feel like so much has happened in my life and if you don't follow me on my other social medias like tiktok or whatever then you're gonna have no idea about all these things that have been happening that's why you should follow me I'm gonna, in my description i always link my tiktok and instagram especially my tiktok i always post so much on there on like daily life updates what i'm doing like if you want to see my daily life and me and melvin's daily life follow me on tiktok and on instagram i post like more like real time pictures whatever um but yeah i don't really post on youtube very much because it is a lot more effort because it's very long videos and i feel like my life is really boring that's the only reason why i'm fil filming today because i'm like oh wow something a bit more exciting is happening but anyway i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go to mommy's cousin's house i'm gonna go wash the puppies and see how they're getting on with the cooking hi guys we forgot to film literally any of the stuff we did earlier. I forgot we were doing this. Nah. You got cassava. Wow, is it yummy? <laughs> Show them what you're doing. Show them what you're cooking. Gonna grill piso. Blue Marlin. Wow. Blue Marlin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, they have fish, but it's a different type of fish. Different type? What type do you know? I call it Abasun. What are you showing me now? What's this? What's it? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I've got a whole box. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm not going to be you carrying you back. So, what now? No. I absolutely hate Tanjo. My hair looks absolutely crazy. I've just washed all the puppies. Had to wash Muffin like four times because he kept running into <laughs> He looks like a chicken. He looks like chicken, should I show you? I put, we put him in the chicken thing to dry off because he just keeps Water. running and rolling in the dirt. So <laughs> here's Muff Muff in the chicken cage while you dry. So I've just given you a bath, haven't I? Hello, Muffin. But I washed him like four times, didn't I? Like four times. And then every time you'd come and roll in the dirt here and get dirty again. Why didn't you? And because you're wet, it would all stick to your fur. He's not very happy that he's in there, but it's only till you've dried off a bit because you're soaking wet right now. Sorry, Muff. You have got some shade. It's just so you can dry it because he's white. I want you to be nice and clean, but every I literally have, to have had to wash him about four times because he keeps rolling in the dirt. So he's in the chicken cage and I washed the other puppy, Moon. Say hey, Moon. Hi Moon, you've got a little bit dirty actually, but hello, she can go in the shade there though. Hello pretty, oh, you're nice and clean. Oh. And they want to play together, but the problem is when you play, this is what happens. They were playing and now they're all dirty again and I just washed you. Oh my goodness Muffin, you're being a bit dramatic. But anyway, ignore Muffin's screams because he's not happy, but it's only till he dries. Oh, Muffin. It'll only be till you're just not wet anymore. <laughs> it's not happy. But what are you filming now? Can you start showing them your fish? Are you going to give us a rundown of what, uh, what have we got for the boodle fight? Huh? What are we making? What are you making for the boodle fight? You're going to give us. We make guys a uh, grilled fish. Yeah. And then sibitsi. Yeah. And then we have a. Uh... You're making escabichi? Huh? You're gonna make escabichi? No, oh, it's my only request. We don't know about uh, tuna. Bombastic sight, eh? So, what are you having for the kinder lao? What the that? Kindle, that oh. oh, okay. And then you have a uh, fried chicken. What are you doing with those fish? You can grill them. Uh, you could make escabichi with those. Anyway, but it's your, it's up to you, it's your birthday. Um, so what else? Fried chicken. fried chicken. Oh, I forgot to, there's that packet of fried chicken seasoning at the house. It's been sat there for donks. You don't need it. What else? Fried chicken, squid adobo. Squid adobo. And then we have our sticky rice. What else? Ch and you're making chicken adobo? Or just fried chicken? It's only fried. 
What are you gonna, you're gonna make the whole? How do you do the fry the middle of the chicken? I don't though? Know. Oh, uh, I wish I could eat chicken. I don't eat chicken though. Today they come with also maha, toluk maha. Yeah. To describe the whole. Mango float, my mango float. And then mango float, and then cassava. Cassava. Did you get sweet potatoes in the end or not? Yeah, sweet potatoes. Sweet potato yeah. and rice, and lots rice. and lots of rice. Okay, that's it. And pancit, yeah. I think there's going to be plenty of food for everyone. And watermelon. I got watermelon. I need to remind you to chop that up. But at like maybe four o'clock, we should start setting the table up there and bringing everything. Because we're going to have to bring over like forks, knives, water. Yeah. And I don't have a tablecloth though. I've also, I want to set up, lab, I want to set up the boodle fight and like have everything there. And then I want to go home and shower and get changed and get ready. Because I but I'd rather set everything up and then shower. So like have everything set up at like four. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to get sweaty though, setting everything up. Um, but what was I talking about? What are they called? Those fries, they're not cassava. They're like sweet potato. You know what I'm on about? We have it at local sometimes, you know, like the fries. <laughs> yeah, but it's not sweet potato. Wait. I just want to try and remember what it's called. Because I should have made some. I Oh, I can't remember. I feel like it begins with a K. I don't know. But I should have made some of those fries. With my contribution. Or some pasta or something, but I've done nothing. I mean, I made the mango float, actually. Which I'm pretty proud of myself because I think it looks pretty good. Um, where is that? Whose house is that? Your mum. Um... Yeah, so I made the mango float. We'll have to bring that right last minute, otherwise it's gonna melt. Um, but I haven't done anything else for the cooking. No, but that's what I'm saying. I'd rather set up the table and then shower because I'm gonna get sweaty while we're setting everything up, you know? So if I shower now and then I set up the table, I'm just gonna have to shower again. So there's no point doing that. I already showered this morning, I just wanna make it clear, but I like to, I'd like to have another shower and get, sort my hair out and look a little bit less like a, Literal toe for the little celebration because I've told everyone at five o'clock, so we have to have all the food and everything ready by five. We can wait that one. I mean, it's only like half two, three o'clock, we've got hours, it's fine. Um, but yeah, what are we gonna we're gonna have to get some massive banana leaves or something to put down. Who's making the rice like the white rice? How is she going to make, does she have a pot big enough to make that enough rice for everyone? Yeah. Have you told her how many people we're serving? Because there's so many people. It's invited everyone in their dog. <laughs> but I think it will be fun. Have a great time and then do karaoke after. But you're doing the fish. This looks yummy. I'm really excited for the, for the feed and the squid. Stunning. We're mainly doing fish this time, well, for the boodle, because I don't eat meat. So I'm being, not, no, you like fish as well though. That's your favorite, isn't it? Fish or meat? Which do you prefer actually, fish or meat? Both, so. But I did buy chicken though. I did buy two chickens for you because I know he likes it and I know he wanted it, even though I'm not gonna eat. So I don't eat chicken. Well, this looks like, I thought they were gonna get cheap. It's very hot though, I can't be sat by, um, by that. But anyway, we're gonna go get the chickens are going crazy. We're gonna go get the rest of the ingredients from the market to make the squid adobo and the kini lao and everything because we haven't got that yet. Um, and then maybe set, start setting up a table. I can take you guys with me. Maybe I'm gonna be doing that on my own at this rate. <laughs> That's fine because it's not much. I'm just gonna put a few decorations up. Hey guys, we're just decorating the table quick. Well, I did buy balloons, but show them what's happened to the balloons. Look. They've all popped. All pops the balloon. Hey, they've all popped. So a bit annoyed about that, but it's fine. Show them. We've got the happier. Oh. And I'm just putting the birthday. Do you then like? the next we put the birthday. Yeah, I like it. I thought I'd surprise you, but it's right by the beach. Show them. It's really nice location here. 
Hmm? That we're having the. It's your aunt, aunt there, who's this? Look, show them the beach. It looks so nice. Oh. Lovely weather. We're blessed with a lovely sunny day for your birthday. Very lucky. Then you have karaoke here. Yeah, karaoke over there for later. <laughs> but we're very lucky. You're really lucky. It's nice weather today. Cause it's been a bit on and off the weather wise, hasn't it? Dorakan. <laughs> rainy. But yeah, the weather's been a bit on and off, hasn't it? It's been raining the last few days. Just gonna have pink balloons. <laughs> I think it's nice. It's nice and sunny. Nice and sunny. They have a grill here. We could have done it here. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to set this up. Then I need to go home and shower and get ready. Show them you've got your... Oh, actually, I have got your outfit. You're going to wear that t-shirt. You're not going to wear one of your nicer t-shirts. We don't have a nice t-shirt. You do. You have your Vans one in the... Yeah. I'll find something. In the laundry. It. Oh, it's in the cupboard. I saw it earlier. I'll, I'll bring it later. Because you do have a nice t-shirt, but we're just trying to set this up. How are you feeling, Lab? Yeah, I'm so happy. You're happy? you excited for your little party? Um, and I'm oh so my God, excited. We have showed you the... Oh, we did actually, didn't we? Show them the 12 bottles of rum my arm's got. I'm going to have to be literally carrying you home tonight. Oh my goodness. Wow. Very good, very nice. And then we've got the other stuff. We're going to bring the rest of the things around later. I just wanted to put this up when I needed Melvin's help. Wow. Going to stand in front, birthday boy. <laughs> How pretty is this though? It's so, we're so lucky. It's such a nice day with the karaoke and everything. And we've just got some cups and plates and our broken balloons. Are they all broken? Yeah. I'm going to go get home and get ready. Get home? Go home and get ready. <laughs> Um, and then we can start bringing the food and the drinks because I have to bring water and all the drinks and everything over in the cutlery. It's going to take a while to do things, go things. What is wrong with me today? I can't talk. <laughs> to put things back and forth. But I need to go shower and get ready because this is not cute right now. This is not the look we're going for for your birthday party today. <laughs> Alright, guys, I've just come to get ready. I know the noise of the aircon in the background is really annoying and the amount of people have told me that on these videos, I'm like, I know, but right now it's literally boiling, but I can't not have the aircon on film. I don't get ready with me at the same time. I thought I'd show you my outfit I've went for. It's this cute little green dress. I thought it was cute. I literally never wear this, but I thought, I wanted to wear something long, but it's just hot. I really wanted to wear this dress, which is like one of my favorite dresses. It's beautiful, but it is so like, thick and it is so hot that when I'm wearing it it's just like it's too hot for today like I just couldn't um so I ended up going with this one instead because the material is much more light and flowy and also it's not all the way full length so it's not so hot what do we think do you like I thought it was cute it's silky my parents got this for me in Vietnam when they went like three years ago now two years ago something like that um, and I really like it and I never wear it because I feel like it's quite dressy and I never have the occasion to wear a dress that's a little bit more dressy like this but today I do I need to do a really really quick get ready with me makeup look whatever because I look like a toe I never normally wear makeup but I thought as it's Melvin's birthday I'm going to put a little bit of F in I'm going to look cute we're going to get pictures and everything like that so I wanted to look a little bit cute and feel nice and confident um but yeah, I just need to get ready really quickly because I'm picking up the cake in literally like 20 minutes I'm supposed to be. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because Melvin's hanging out right now and they're cooking, whatever, with his cousin. And his cousin is the one who said he would take me to go get the cake. But if I'm like, go up to his cousin like, yeah, let's go, Melvin's going to catch on to like what they're doing, like where are they going. He's going to ask me and then I don't know what to say. So I need to try and find a way to sneak off without Melvin noticing um, to go get the cake. Right, guys, ready? I'm going to do my hair properly in a minute but because I'm going to get on the bike to go get the cake but there's no point because my hair's going to get messed up from the bike anyway but this is the final look the lighting in here is terrible but I think it's cute I'm going to bring my little uh, light with me if I can find it where is it you know like the I can't find it you know like the tiktok light things 
this thing it's for pictures which gets a bit darker so you can still take nice pictures um yeah i'm ready i need to hurry up because i'm already late and i'll take you guys with me and show you the cake when we go get it um and in classic filipino style it is well past five and nothing is ready we are so late it's, uh, people have started to turn up and especially the foreigners that turn up on time and then none of the food is ready so i'm gonna try and try and get melbourne to hurry up and get everything there on the table because i feel bad that people just like sat waiting wow well, guys it's a bit wonky the happy birthday sign but this is what it's looking like so, so far what is this adobo and then all oh, the food. What's this? Pasta, I hate that. Rice. A nice pea. But as classic Filipinos, they're late. Filipino time. So we're waiting for everyone to turn up uh, for like the food to be ready and his Filipino friends to turn up. But now when's come back. Hey, King. <laughs> late as always. Nearly ready though. Nearly? Are we nearly ready? How much? What are we waiting for? Is this pretty much everything? What? Where's, where's my mango float? I made that especially for you. Wow. Stunning. Wow, look at this spread. Are you hungry? <laughs> wow, stunning. <laughs> stunning. Everyone <laughs> Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Is it yummy? All gone. All gone. All the food's gone. In the dark. All the food's gone. Was it good? It was cleared out really quickly. There was a lot more people than people thought it was going to be. And it turned out it was like 50 people. But it's good and we've all had a lovely meal. And I'm very full. Yeah. Wow, nice cake. <laughs> Cheers. The guy. The guy. Bada patai. How is the tamale? Did you like your cake? Yummy. Yeah, like it so much. Good. You're welcome. I love you. Cheers.